Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and in tutorial series we have already done a lot of data transformation. Now it is time time for us to go ahead and create some columns and measures and then use them into the visuals. So now this data is pretty good because most of the calculations are already done in this data like we have this unit price in quantity and we already have gross sales. Then similarly we have a discount percentage uh, which is in percentage basically and we already have a discount amount out here. Uh, we have uh, sales uh, which is basically nothing but net sales which is again the difference of the gross minus discount amount and similarly we have unit cost and cogs also calculated but uh, to let you know how to do the calculated columns uh, we are going to perform these operations again and going to create it but yes we are not going to create this margin percentage because margin percentage is actually a divided by b so which is typically sum of a divided by sum of b and then we are going to create a major so my personal preference is that you know when it is a multiplication we create a column and when it is a division we go ahead and should create a major uh, now when to create a column and when to create a major typically uh, not to load the data model we prefer a major calculation but uh, the thing is that uh, it is not always um, uh, possible uh, to have uh, all the majors or all the columns depending on your model uh, you have to take a choice what you want to create whether you want to create a column whether you want to create a major and every column which you are going to create is going to add load to your power bi file so it's going to add uh, the data uh, which is physical data which is actually going to create as a new column uh, so you need to just take care uh, depending on the, what data model you have, how heavy it is, how much time cal column calculation is going to take and how much it is adding to your load timing uh, because if uh, you have a pretty heavy data and you keep everything to the major actually the runtime of a report or maybe a visual might take a time. So that is the call which we have to take depending on the model but right now let's start with CVV columns and let's start calculating it. So the first column which we are going to create uh, is a, a new column which is basically the gross sales and we are only going to call it gross this time because we already have it so let's call it gross and the, what is gross for us here is uh, nothing but uh, price which is unit price in our case multiply by quantity so we got the price again new column another new column which we wanted is discount amount we will call it discount because we have renamed the discount as discount amount and what is that that is basically nothing but gross and now gross has been created as a column so we should be able to get it gross multiply by discount and here discount is already in percentage so we don't need to divide it by 100 we can actually mark that column as a percentage column so we are getting it correct so now next column which we need net and net could be have been a major also it's a candidate for a major because both calculated columns are there but let's call it net and net is nothing but gross minus discounts that's what we wanted and we are using the all the new columns which we are creating so that we later go ahead and create some measures out of it so we got gross we got discount we got net and now what we need to do is uh, we need margin but before margin we need to know what is our cost of goods sold which is cogs and we already have a column which is named as cogs so uh, it will not allow us to create cogs let's see yes we all exactly have a cog so let's call it cogs1 cogs1 and this is nothing but unit cost star quantity and what we are going to do a couple of things we are going to do before we get into the next column is what we are going to go to the cogs column which is originally there and we are going to call it as cogs amount we will come back now and rename these cogs as cogs so this is what one thing which we need to take care that while we are doing this model creation step before even we start any visual creation just make sure that the, all the naming convention and everything is correct as per what we need okay so we is calling it gross uh, discount net cogs all these columns we are going to take it like this now uh, what is the next step is uh, we need a major uh, which is uh, um, uh, margin percentage but for that we need margin and now margin is again just like net we can actually have a major or a uh, um, column our choices was but now let's create a new column we are learning the new column right now so we are going to call it as margin so margin which we are going to uh, what is margin in this case is going to be so uh, which is nothing but net minus cogs cost of goods sold so 
this is how now we have done some calculation we have created some calculated column uh, we have completed our model in getting all those calculations so uh, these are available uh, uh, with us uh, so before we move to the visualization step we are just trying to have all the columns and the measures settled down so that we can easily use them into the visual uh, thanks for watching this video thank you